Welcome back to the um, P.S. Gilmore story and episode uh, 67. 67. And of course, we're still in St. Louis and we're looking further at Gilmore's St. Louis story. Here's the band of Gilmore's, what he called Gilmore's 100 uh, band. And you'll, you'll hear more about that now. Um, and they played in uh, St. Louis over the two months to concerts, as you see here, from 2 to 3, 4 to 5, 7 to 8, and 9 to 10. Four concerts a day. What pressure. This 100 uh, musicians were absolutely at the very top of their profession. The best of the best. Uh, soloists in every sense of the word you wouldn't find such a band before this or after this in in this quantity especially the St. Louis Exposition went on uh, in in um, 1892 from uh, September to the end of October unfortunately it wouldn't complete as planned st louis exposition uh, mercantile displays mechanical inventions and fine arts another advertisement the great exposition today presents four entirely new programs which have never been played in st louis by gilmore's band what performance and what what uh, displays were created by Gilmore himself because bear in mind this band was basically a guarantee to the organizers of the St. Louis Exposition of an extra 900,000 attendees to the exposition. Another advertisement. Plants and cut flowers Monday and Tuesday. Colonel P.S. Gilmore's band will play appropriate music. Four concerts daily, afternoon and evenings, and so on. Admission 25 cents, children 15. This is from 1892. The Frisco line, obviously based in San Francisco, but it gave you an idea of the um, extent that this exposition was a major holiday for everyone across the west the north south and the east people came from all uh, from afar how the saint louis exposition could have managed actually could have developed without gilmore is hard to envisage this is an advertisement from saint louis itself which is slightly different because everything is kind of laid out street illumination six miles of streets illuminated uh, the st louis exposition gilmore's band the annual fair the great annual trotting meeting greatly reduced rates on the railroads a again what an attraction for the city of st louis they were trying to be definitely the third biggest city in the union Here's a, a reserved ticket for to see Gilmore's 100 band. And you'd have got this from the uh, the manager. Um, and you'd go to see Saint, uh, Gilmore's band in this theatre here, the music hall. And this music hall was built for him in 1885. And each day he would pack the 5,000 capacity and more. It's incredible the way the figures get bigger and bigger and bigger. Here is the hall of the um, of the theatre itself. Imagine 100 musicians on that and the sound emanating from that stage. Here's an adver advertisement actually after Gilmore's death First appearance of Colonel D. W. Reeves, the new leader. And it gives you an idea of how, um, even though we have a new leader, 
the star is still Gilmore's famous band and the 100 musicians. Gilmore's 100. The members of Gilmore's band have tendered two boxes to President Kennard. Don't know who he is and the board of the directors of the exposition for the benefit concert to be given on Saturday night. The shock that was Gilmore's death was um, incredible, not just in St. Louis, in the, the greater state of Missouri, but all over the United States of America. Um, it was a, a really sad event. This man would be missed and was. P.S. Gilmore here with uh, his breast of medals, including in the middle of that there, the 22nd uh, Long Service Medal. Gilmore's 100, what the press say. And this was the type of headline of that period. Um, it's incredible to think that this man died with such a following and we nearly lost him completely. A grand outpouring closing scenes at the great St. Louis Exposition. Gilmore's Hot 100 played Au Lang Syne and the audience fairly well went wild. A wonderful organisation. The applause was immense. The great Gilmore concert at the Grand last night. Gilmore's famous 100 musicians appeared at the Grand last night. Gilmore's 100 is a thing of fact as well as of name. There are actually 100 musicians, it says there on the stage. And so here's another um, advertisement. Gilmore's famous band of 100 musicians. And it's... Um, it was an incredible story and the effect that these musicians had on people's lives and I would propose on music in the future, long after they would be gone. Here's a ticket for a, for a band member. His name was Frank Gross, or Gross. Frank Gross uh, had ticket number 79 which was his number in the band. And this allowed him um, entry into the band pit and so on, because they, it was their form of identification for this period of time. Here's the band again, beautifully attired, beautifully equipped and beautifully prepared. So that's the story for today. Be back next week with more. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please click like and subscribe. And thank you very much for your attention. Bye now.